Hey guys, good morning, and it's late January 2023 in uh, Mid Coast, Maine, uh, and I'm just letting the girls out for the day, and um, we had a doozy of a week in terms of winter weather. We had a pretty big, messy storm on Monday, then we had another one, I think, on Wednesday, and that one then, it put snow on the ground, and then it got rained on it, so now we have a snap freeze, and it's super icy, so if you're... Um, kind of over winter and over the winter keeping chores yeah I'm, I'm with you on that uh this is the most intense time of year with chickens and i wanted to talk about the idea of rethinking uh chicken math and the biggest myth in chicken keeping that i've figured out over the last like five or six years and um rethinking chicken math is basically i wanted to talk about this idea actually another keeper of a different type of animals he um has this thing that says choosing to keep fewer animals in upgraded enclosures benefits both the keeper and the kept. And basically that's the idea that um, in all animal keeping, there's this momentum and almost pressure or drive to acquire large uh, numbers of animals. Um, it's almost equated with being a good keeper. It's, uh, um, you know, it's like I have a hundred animals or a hundred birds and that makes me a serious keeper or whatnot. And, um, and I get that. And there's definitely something about raising up a herd or flock of animals and, and understanding the experience that comes with that. I've actually, the most number of birds I've had on this property at one time is about 150. Uh, and you can handle it. It's fine. Um, but right now I'm down to nine. Um, and that's partly because I didn't bring birds in because of uh, last year because of avian flu and whatnot. But it's also just kind of a, a step back and an understanding that, um, Fewer birds is actually easier in your, your aggregate enjoyment. Mona, come here. Your aggregate enjoyment um, is better, period. Um, so I just, as spring comes around and those hatchery cheap cheeps come in, I just encourage you to rethink that idea a little bit. Uh, and if you're feeling burnt out now or you just, you just didn't want to walk out to that coop this morning, um, remember that when you go to buy more birds or you have that itch because fewer birds is actually easier. I've only got nine birds in this coop. I've had up to 24 in here. Um, and it's not like it was a bad situation, but just the work, the cleaning, the daily with social order, that was all uh, much more intense, especially in the dead of winter when they're kind of confined. So that leads me to the biggest myth, I believe in chicken keeping, which is that you want to pack your coop full of birds for the warmth in the winter. And it's just not true. Um, it is true that birds need to huddle together for warmth and that when they are together, they do better. Um, if you have a bird that is socially ostracized or ill and it, it can't roost, it's going to do worse. Um, I have a bird in here that I think is doing poorly and it's down on the ground because uh, it can't roost. And um, that's not as good as if it could roost with the other birds. But... They don't need to pack the coop so that they are like little heaters heating up the ambient space in there. They are huddling together. Actually, packing a coop too tightly increases the feces and increases the respiratory moisture because they're expelling moisture through feces and they are expelling moisture through breathing. And both of those things are negatives in a coop. So you pack three times as many birds in there and I'm going to have three times as much moisture in there. I'm also going to have three times as much cleaning, which is just a pain in the rear. And... I'm also going to have um, more social disorders. So the biggest myth in, so in chicken keeping is that you need to pack your coop in the winter to heat them up. You need a well-designed coop and you need enough for them to huddle together. Have a great day, guys.